Wednesday, February 17, 1982, it was a golden day for Sri Lankan sporting history. This tiny nation, located in Indian Ocean is about to play their first ever test match, as the eighth full status member or eight test playing nation. Overall this is the test number 921 in the history of the game. The match scheduled to play in Pekiasuthi Sarawanamuto Stadium, also known as Pisara Oval from February 17 till February 21. Pisara Oval has a stadium to hold 15,000 spectators and this is the home ground of one of the oldest domestic team in Sri Lanka, Tamil Union Cricket and Athletics Club. The ground name to honour, a former civil servant and first ever president of the Board of Control of Cricket. Mr. Pekiasuthi Sarawanamuto. It is a relatively small ground, half surrounded by lower level stands and half by grass banks. The most famous feature is the ivy covered scoreboard. Bandula Warnapura was nominated as the captain for this historical occasion. Along with him, Sidath Wedamuni will open the bat. To support the batting lineup, they have Roy Dias, Duliap Mendes, Ranjan Madugal, and Arjuna Ranatunga. Just like in One Day Internationals, Tuliap will play the vice captain role as well. So much Andra Da Silva, Lalith Kalyupuruma, and Ujit Da Silva were picked to dominate the spinning department. Ashantha Damel was given a hudge responsibility as he is the only quick bowler. And Mahez Gunatilak was selected as the wicket keeper. Keith Fletcher was appointed as the captain to lead England team on this match. He was given an experienced and balanced team. Opening the innings will be done by inform batsman Graham Gooch with Jeff Cook. They have middle order batsmans like Chris Tavare and David Gower. Ian Botham will act as their number one all rounder. Bob Taylor was picked as the keeper. And they have two spinners, John Amburi and Derek Underwood, and two seamers, Paul Allott and vice captain Bob Willis. Jeff Cook got an opportunity to make his way to Test Arena. This right hand Northamptonshire opening batsman played five one day internationals for England before this. And also, he was representing Northamptonshire since 1971. Sri Lanka having 11 debutants. Bandula Warnapura placed his name in history books as the first ever test player as well as the first ever Sri Lankan test captain. He was the opening batsman as well as the opening bowler. Bandula was born in 1953 in Rambukana, Kegali, and he studied in Nalanda College. In the domestic tournament he represents Bloomfield Club. He represents national team many occasions before this and already participated seven one-day internationals. Sidath Wedamuni was the other opening batsman. He made his one-day international appearance in the first game against England in the same series and adjudicated as the man of the match in their winning second game. Sidath was born in 1956 in Colombo and he represent Ananda College in SSC during his school years and domestic. One notable fact is, Sunil Wedamuni, former Sri Lankan opening batsman is his elder brother. Sri Lankan most stylish batsman Roy Dias was got the test player number three position. Dias was born in 1952, Colombo. And, he studied in St. Peter's College, Colombo. In domestic tournament he is participating CCC. He represents Sri Lankan national team couple of times for first class games, including the England Tour 1981. Before this match he played four one day internationals for Sri Lankan and scored a 50. Vice Captain Duliap Mendes played for Sri Lanka national team since early 70s. He already participated for six one-day internationals since 1975 World Cup. Also he has won the Man of the Match award for their first ever win against India in 1979 due to his blasting half-century. Duliap was born in 1952 in Moritawa. He was a proud product of one of the oldest college in Sri Lanka, St. Thomas, Mount Lavinia, and in domestics he was captaining SSC club. Another gentleman and a young Sri Lankan batsman Ranjan Madugala earned the number 5 position of test debutant list. He was born in 1959, Kandy. So, in the practice match against England he has scored 142 runs not out in front of their home crowd. Ranjan had his early education in Trinity College Kandy and later moved to Royal College Colombo. In domestics, he represents NCC. Before this match he has played three one-day internationals for Sri Lanka. Arjuna Ranathanga was the youngest addition to test debutant club. He was just 18 years 2 months and 16 days when he was called for the test. Before this he has played just one, one day international and he has scored 42 on his debut match. Arjuna is a schoolboy still and he studied in Ananda College Colombo. Also, he represents SSC in domestics. 
Dandinayaj Somach Andra Da Silva, also known as DS Da Silva was the oldest member of the list. This fine leg spinner was born in Gaul 1942. He was schooling in Mahinda College Gaul and in domestics he represents Bloomfield Club. Before this tour starts, he was playing for Shropshire, a minor country club in England. Also, he wears the national cap multiple times and already played seven one-day internationals. Only Sri Lankan quick bowler Ashantha make his way to playing 11 as number 8. He took six wickets in the one-day tournament and in a good form. He was born in 1959, Colombo. Also he too a proud product of one of the oldest school in Sri Lanka, Royal College Colombo. And he too represents S.S.C as the opening bowler in domestic pitch. Seasoned off spinner, Lalith Kalyuparuma made to the playing 11. He already played four one-day internationals for Sri Lanka. He represents Bloomfield in Sri Lanka first class matches and finished his education from Nalanda College. Also, he was born in 1949, Colombo. Wicket keeper Mahez Gunathileka was born in 1952, Kandy. He took two brilliant stumpings in his debut match against England before this match. This fine technical savvy wicket keeper learned his basics in St. Anthony's College, Kandy, and standing behind the wickets for Colts Club in domestic arena. Number 11 of the side Ajit De Silva played as the third spinner of the side. With his left arm spin he represents Sri Lanka national team four times in one day internationals. He was born in 1952, Ambalangoda. He represent Dharmasaka College, Ambalangoda during his school days and representing NCC in domestics. Eight leading Sri Lankan schools contributes players for the first ever test match. Out of those two players were taken from three schools and rest of five schools contribute one each. Also these 11 players divided among five major clubs. SSC gave the maximum contribution by participating four players. With a captain and two A-grade spinners Bloomfield gave away three players. N.C.C with two players whereas CCC and Colts with one each. Mr. KT Francis and Mr. Herby Felsinger officiated in Sri Lanka's inaugural test match. Mr. Herbie E. Felsinger was umpiring in Sri Lanka first class level since 1971. Felsinger also had the honor of officiating in the centenary match between two traditional schools Royal and S. Thomas's at the same venue, P. Sarah Oval back in 1979. He studied in both Wesley College and Kerry College. When he was 14 he scored 202 runs not out against St. John's, Nugada as an opening batsman, which was a school record. In domestic he was the first ever non-Muslim player to play for Moore's Sports Club. So, Mr. Felsinger goes to the history books as the cricket umpire who stood for both official test match and one day international held in Sri Lankan soil. Mr. K.T. Francis, also known as Candia Thirugnan Sampandapalai Francis was made his debut as a one day international umpire just three days before. He studied in St. Mary's College Kegali and worked in railway department and represent railway for both cricket and football in the government service tournaments. An umpire was paid 750 rupees a day for five days test those days. So Sri Lankan capital, Colombo all set for this historical event. Let's watch the highlights of the Sri Lanka's inaugural test match from next episode onwards.